Welcome. Pronounce that. How do you pronounce it? Welcome to the Taquam. Taquam. Oh my God. Taquamanon Brewery. Ta Taquamanon. I feel like I'm doing brewery. pretty good. Taquamanon. Ta Are we gonna go to Ta the Taquamanon? Ta Taquamanon Falls. Yes. Let's go. Do you think all this driftwood is just old vessels? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think that at all. <laughs> I do want to know, how are you guys liking this lens? up guys I feel blinded but apparently I'm supposed to wear my glasses less uh, my wife says that I constantly like cut her off and she's like like this or I'm like this and I didn't really notice it but anyways I started searching for a solution and I hope that I found a solution uh, this is the Sony VZ1 camera we're shooting on and this is an extra wide lens that can go onto this camera. We bought it, it was actually really affordable, it was just 50 bucks, and it had killer reviews, and I actually have a couple friends that use it with this camera, and they really like it. So this is me sitting here on the step, and we're gonna go ahead and install the lens, then we'll film a clip and see what you guys think. Let us know if it's a bit better, because you should be able to see like a lot more. How's the quality, how does it look? Is it much wider? I can definitely feel the weight. The camera is a lot heavier. I don't know that I'm gonna like that, but it for sure is wider. How's the stabilization? Stabilization seems pretty good. How's the zoom? Okay, we still got some zoom. I know you guys are digging this right now. Pretty good. The camera's heavy though. Dang. Many hours later. Melissa, what do you have to say to everybody? Well, I have to say that I'm trying to figure out- Hold on, hold on. Is this, is this gonna be butchered right now? Probably, Okay, yeah. let's I'm go. I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce this word. Taquamanan Falls? You can't look it up because we don't have internet. So basically, we are up near Whitefish Point in the Uper of Michigan. And we are at Taka... Taquamanon. Menon Falls brewery? and Brewery. So we're okay. here in the state park. And there's a brewery in the state park, which is kind of cool. And we're going to go to the brewery. And then we're going to go hike out to the falls. We're pretty excited. We've never been here before, as per huge. Everyone's been recommending um, that we go to these falls. It's supposed to be like a really cool thing to go see in this area. So we're going to check it out. I'm excited and we'll hike yeah and I hope you guys like this I can't see these are polarized I can't see but it's much wider now so I'm not well, you're I'm not, not gonna be like cutting your face off like halfway like, yeah. like that like you always are do. you happy babe I this am happy. You happy so I'm always like, but it is like, put us both I don't really even need glasses right now it People is want to see this it dear. is um heavy though my arm hurts so we should go in and and hang out and do stuff and things let's go cool fanny pack to Kwamanon. It was nice. I really uh, thought it was super pretty. And I took a lot of pictures. And I'm gonna post them on my Instagram. You guys should follow us on Instagram if you don't follow us already. Same thing, Adventure Endeavor. So it's pretty easy to find. Adventure Endeavor on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Yeah. All of the above. You should do it. Head over there. We post nice photos. Don't forget. Is the water brown? Because of tannic acid. Oh. Falls. Taquamanon Falls. Taquamanon. Taquamanon. It's a Taquamanon. I liked it. It was a short hike. It was very flat. I would recommend come here, go to the brewery for dinner, get a beer, and then walk it off and go to the falls. We only did the, did we decide was it the upper or the lower? It was the upper falls? Yes, the upper falls. We only did the upper, which was nice. We probably should have done the lower, but it was a little bit more of a hike. We decided that we might come back here tomorrow and do the lower falls. Is that what we decided? At some point. Oh, I wasn't part of that conversation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll see, because it's a four mile hike to get to the lower falls. Oh, okay, bye. 
finally leaving this great spot. The spot has been fantastic. So I, myself, have been here the longest, like what, 12 days or something? Feels so, like forever. Sounds about right. It's a really cool spot. We really enjoyed it. It's got a sweet pad. Not much to do in the area. But now we're going back up where we were the other night towards the- Taquamanon Falls? Taquamanon Falls. But we're not doing that because we already did that. We're going to go to the shipwreck museum, which is at Whitefish Point, And we're going to bring you all because that's what we do. We bring you guys with us. No? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. We are always super grateful when we find a great boondocking spot, especially up here in Michigan because it's proving to be very difficult. This one was good, but it was time to go. We only had AT&T service up here, which we have all carriers. We burn through like 100 gigs of data because we both work full time. Fortunately, they don't have an unlimited plan right now. So that was one reason we needed to go. And then we have just found that anything really over a week is just too long for us now. So we really like being about moving every week because that gives us a full work week to work. After work, we do a bunch of activities and we get most of the weekend. Like if I had to say, I would like to move every Monday morning. I think that would be pretty nice. It's been interesting. We're grateful. Thanks for the great spot, Michigan. And uh, what national, we're in a national forest. But it's time to go and we're excited to be moving Friday night gotta love it we made it to Whitefish Point I would highly recommend if you're coming here with your RV to park in the first parking lot we're in the first parking lot right now pretty large it's dirt we parked on this side because if you keep going down it's very busy because you have the museum and then on top of the museum you have Whitefish Point which is a nice beach area that people go to hang out at so park here and that will save you a lot of headaches rather than driving all the way to the end having to do a u-turn coming back through it's just crowded up there trust me all right so pro tip that we just found out about because our friends came here first and told us if you show up at five o'clock you can get in mission for half off so instead of paying fourteen dollars you can pay seven seven dollars you only get roughly an hour because it closes at six so seven dollars for an hour and apparently that's enough time to check out this museum. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Why do you let me? Because you didn't say it. Gosh, babe. Gosh. Gosh. Ridiculous. that Lake Superior is the largest, coldest, and deepest fresh body of water in the world, and over 550 ships have wrecked here. Yeah, and I learned that the longest one that wrecked was over 700 feet long. That's a big boat. What else did you learn? I learned that a combination of strong storms and low visibility and heavily trafficked waterways at mm -hmm. this area led to um, a lot of the ships colliding with each other. I learned that this super cool thing, Lighthouse Chingadera. The lens? The lens. I learned that I got the you, I got you, babe. I learned that the lighthouse lens was visible up to 28 miles away. That is insane. I mean, I just learned a lot about all of the different types of shipwreck. I learned that $7 is a good price. It's a great, it's a cute little museum mm -hmm. and it is a non-profit so like they're not funded by anyone so if you go and you pay the 14 you might feel like it's steep but you're really helping them out. There are a couple of other buildings that you can have access to um, with like additional exhibits if you do come earlier in the day and you pay the $14. Yeah. We didn't opt for that today because we just didn't feel like it but yeah. that's an option if you're interested. <laughs> It feels nice. It feels 
kid. Oh, those kids swimming are crazy. No, it's not that cold. Oh, it's warmer than the Pacific Ocean. I'll tell you that. Oh, way warmer than the Pacific. All right, so how many Great Lakes have your feet been in now? We've been in Huron, Michigan, and Superior. I didn't put my feet in Huron. Back in Ohio, Island, Huron. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, so three. Three of the Great ah, Lakes. The waves are getting bigger.